Welcome back to our channel. Hi. So Hi, today everybody. it's a difficult day for Ricardo. Yeah, because I need to speak. I really don't like worry, what I know one will hit you. Okay. So Thank I you. know that you found a really interesting article. Yeah, uh, that is uh, about uh, genetic engineering. Okay. So it's not a specific article, but it's a discussion about a uh, topic. And I know that you wanted to... Uh, to discuss about this article because it's something that we can also yeah, think discuss, and have a... Discuss about, it's not yeah. just theory, it's not just concept, it's also something we can speak about. Yeah, so, so I know that was uh, something about uh, your robot, right? <laughs> Quite, <laughs> okay. not exactly, but uh, the just from the title that is a human announcement, mm -hmm. we can see that this article is about the use uh, of technologies, okay. in particular uh, genetics, mm -hmm. for which uh, these technologies were thought at the beginning to cure or to alleviate some problem or disorder or disabilities of people. But in the last years, in the last 20 years, these technologies were used also for um, enhance the human, so giving give him some more uh, capabilities, more some abilities, more, uh, more power, and so like in Fantastic Four. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it, uh, reading this article seems like uh, watching a movie from the Marvel series. Okay. Because uh, so there is yeah. someone that is creating Spider Man, or <laughs> uh, <laughs> quite okay. you can say that. Uh, so because uh, they they are talking, these two guys are talking about. Uh, the fact that in the centuries uh, some some technologies were used to I don't know create uh, some some objects like spectacles that are our modern glasses mm -hmm. to better the vision or the sight of people mm -hmm. that uh, this was uh, since the 13th century and till today in which we have uh, I don't know intervention. Uh, by researchers and computer science for creating a, a microchip to install in the brain of a person and give this person the ability to move the limbs also if this person before was uh, paralyzed. Mm -hmm. but yeah, that's, the, uh, that's really interesting. Yeah, because, it's uh, really interesting and uh, but the, the main reason that I like this article mm -hmm. is because they are talking about also the use of biomedical technologies okay. and gene gene technology also not only for uh, curing uh, di disabilities or disease but also to give uh, uh, new abilities to people okay um, so they're not uh, saying uh, w what is their opinion about they're just discussing okay. what is the opinion of the common opinion about uh, about this topic because of, uh, before uh, I remember that uh, scientific community. Uh, you were talking about a particular example uh, about the this uh, genetic topic. Uh, yeah, uh, about the gene therapy. There was this case of uh, the last year, mm -hmm. in 2018, mm -hmm. in which there were these two um, twin uh, girls from in that they were burning, born in China. Mm -hmm. um, of which the father had uh, the HIV mm -hmm. uh, virus and so to prevent the transmission of this virus to the two twins mm -hmm. uh, they mutated a gene that okay. is the CCR5 that is uh, if mutated can prevent some uh, some some specific HIV uh, virus okay and uh, and so the problem was ethical because uh, uh, the main reason that there is this problem is so uh, important for the is so ethically a problem for the uh, scientific uh, community is because uh, modifying the germline mm -hmm. of uh, people, giving them some new traits, mm -hmm. it's a bit strange it means that go against the nature of human okay. and uh, all the organisms but if i in this case i just want to help uh, a person uh, and i just want uh, to improve uh, uh, his or her life uh, mm -hmm. expectancy uh, yeah, it's not it's not good well, yeah, why yeah it's good i mean 
if I need to give an opinion, I I agree with this kind of mm-hmm. uh, intervention of people, and because uh, I think it's natural for mm-hmm. human, because we can't always follow the Darwinism uh, yeah, concept for sure. of uh, the nature, the evolution of nature in animals, plants, and human in particular, yeah. because I think we as human have already overcome the the concept of just animals and plants. Yes. And as far as I, as we can see from the environmental problem that we have, we modify the environment in a certain way that we need some modification of our bodies to overcome our main our own problems. Yeah. For it sure. seems I mean it's against nature. We can say that. But it's also uh, we need also to think as as a species to protect and mm-hmm. to uh, survive. And uh, some people want to live a longer life and not just not taking an anti- antibiotics or uh, not taking drugs because they think that okay nature uh, want that and so we need to die. Everybody, oh. everybody needs to die because. Uh, we don't accept technologies, new technologies. Yeah, or I, I, I understand that and uh, I'm um, completely in also for that. Uh, I was really surprised when uh, before uh, and I didn't expect because I'm not inside this uh, field mm-hmm. uh, when uh, you told me that uh, um, modifying this gene, uh, I in reality you can prevent some, the, 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 the verification of some disease. But obviously, you can always you have always the other side of uh, of the coin. Okay. For which, uh, in this case, something for me was um, all new what I read. Yeah. So with the modification of this gene, you can prevent some kind of uh, um, HIV mm-hmm. uh, uh, particular type. But on the other hand. If you uh, this modification, these mutations of the gene can cause other problems, so like okay. a, redu- in, a reduce in the immune system of the subject, so he, he is more subjected of uh, to uh, other disease. Okay. So it prevents HIV, HIV, but can give you some other problems. Okay. Okay. Or for example, the mutation in specific in the people with uh, multiple sclerosis Mm -hmm. uh, have uh, uh, less uh, life expectancy than the ones that don't have this this mutation of the gene. So it's It's good, but it go beyond the the concept that there was some decades ago about one gene, one trait, Mm -hmm. because uh, before we thought that uh, modifying one gene can modify just one trait of the yeah. human body, uh, but it's not true. Mm-hmm. It was verified it was not true. So modifying one gene, you can modify multiple traits. Okay. So uh, both positive and negative. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I didn't expect it in this uh, at all. And yeah, because it's something that needs to be explored mm-hmm. still, and so uh, it needs to be studied a lot. But sometimes ethical problems intervene, always, yeah, because sure. uh, we are not machines. We are living beings with an intelligence, and so obviously everybody has an opinion about mm-hmm. what we are doing. And uh, so sometimes the research is blocked by religion, by ethical problem, yeah. uh, and so the, the science doesn't go on. Yeah, yeah uh, I agree. For some aspects, I, I agree. Mm-hmm. Uh, for some research, mm-hmm. I am against, but uh, because they are they go beyond mm-hmm. some uh, some problem. Okay. Um, but for other reason, like in th- this particular case of yeah. the gene ther- therapy, I I agree in the, in the intervention on the twins. I mean, it's. Uh uh, I, I don't, it's, uh, I don't the, the, ethical, the ethical problems are uh, really a, a problem. Yeah. Uh, that is the reason why there is always uh, uh, 
ethical part in the hospital where mm -hmm. you are going uh, that or needs to evaluate to evaluate the different cases and uh, it's never a uh, easy answer decision, yeah. uh, or correct. easy decision for any anyone mm -hmm. so in this case uh, like uh, uh, risking uh, the the future life with a H HVI HIV, H HIV, or uh, risk uh, to have other possible diseases. Mm -hmm. It's not at all a uh, uh, easy not clear, answer. It's not easy. And, no, obviously, um, uh, yeah, it's, uh, every case needs to be evaluated. Yeah. Um, um, it, I just just thinking that uh, we are completely different from the person that uh, exists like uh, 200 years ago because yeah, we use antibiotics. Uh, true. Uh, we That's why I also said that. We go beyond the Darwinism yeah. concept of, uh, uh, like in his book on the origin of the species, in which mm -hmm. he says that we, I just quote, the natural selection is a process in which organisms that, that happen to be better mm -hmm. uh, adapted to a certain environment uh, can have a better life and uh, life expectancy uh, reproduction possibilities than other organisms. Yeah. This apply to animals and plants and to human of some centuries ago, mm. some millennia ago. But after the innovation with new technology, just the fact of thinking the the the, the fact that people clean yes. themselves yeah, it just prevents some just uh, just the fact that you know for sure that uh, I will not be here if I ah, was, yes. uh, for example uh, he is allergic to some to stuff some food yeah and so uh, probably some decades ago yeah he would die yeah he would have died yes, a lot of time <laughs> yes correct yes so uh, uh, we can s I mean, there is always this uh, balance that needs to be taken to, into consideration. There are people, uh, we, uh, I read here in the article uh, that there are two classes of people, two extrema okay. of the problem that are, uh, let me see. What are the name of these? Yeah, the transhumanists okay. that are in favor of okay. this kind of technology and the uh, bioconservatives okay. that are against uh, I remember once, it's, it seems off topic, but I remember once talking with an architect that we were looking, uh, I think was a uh, uh, Roman bridge mm -hmm. uh, on the, um, in Switzerland or in Germany, mm -hmm. I can't remember, yeah, but okay, it but... was completely ruined mm -hmm. and uh, I asked him, uh, but what an architect think? when uh, there is something so ruined and uh, it's not better to uh, like renovate this bridge and to give him back his life, mm -hmm. old life, or uh, it's better for an architect living like that because it's uh, normal having a uh, that bridge in this, in, this, uh, in, this, in this condition because he remembers uh, the old times that he passed. Okay. So he couldn't answer, but I mean, he answered me like here in for this problem in which we have two kind, uh, two different type of extrema of the problem. Okay. In which you have uh, some ones that want to be conservative. Okay. Of uh, the bridge mm -hmm. in this case, or some ones that thinks that it's better to renovate it to give him back his uh, old life. Mm -hmm. And uh, so there is no a uh, right answer, obviously. Okay. I think, as I said, uh, it's always important to have a moderate, um, a moderate opinion mm -hmm. about the problem. Always discuss about it, and and find a common point in which everybody can agree. Uh, obviously, it's not simple as a problem. Um, other things that they say in this article, uh, they were talking about, for example, the um, in in the past, in the prehistoric era, or mm -hmm. also in the historic era, in which there were the domestication mm -hmm. of animals or plants, for which uh, they modify not uh, genetically, yeah, but okay. continuing breeding 
some kind of animals together, yes. they obtain some animals right for like their the purpose. dog from the wolf. Or? Yeah, for example, the dog for the wo- uh, as uh, from the wolf or some kind of plants. So, yeah. and uh, they say that is uh, for some researcher this problem of enhancement is like a self domestication mm-hmm. of the human. Yes, in which we modify ourselves. Uh, magari, uh, magari, maybe, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> maybe <laughs> just uh, um, preventing some problems, mm-hmm. not using um, uh, specifically some uh, mm-hmm. pharmaceuticals or yeah. some medicine, but uh, behave in some way in which the, the species, the human species can go on without yeah. gene modification. Yeah, so because there can be like a gene modification or... Uh, you can uh, modify the piece just uh, uh, changing uh, a bit uh, like uh, some, some habits in some some habit uh, or you can uh, for example add external things like mm-hmm. uh, prote- prosthesis mm-hmm. uh, you have an improvement also in that case uh, mm-hmm. there are a Correct. lot of possible uh, modification that uh, uh, human and not human race uh, mm-hmm. can uh, can have uh, mm-hmm. and uh, for sure this is uh, Because uh, one interesting, uh, what article. what do they take out is also from uh, what I ta- I've taken out from the article is that they also divide, for example, about these problems the the topic in three different groups. Mm-hmm. One is the uh, with they say strictly phenotypic intervention mm-hmm. that is, for example, as you said, uh, the use of. Uh, prosthesis mm-hmm. or uh, bionic limbs uh, or exoskeletons and there are the other two groups that are more critical mm-hmm. uh, on the point of view of ethical reason one is the somatic non hereditable genetic uh, invention intervention like mm-hmm. i don't know um, editing muscle cells to okay. make them bigger or stronger mm-hmm. And the third one that is the most critical is the intervention on the germline. Okay. So <clears throat> in intervening directly on the genome of the person, mm-hmm. of the people, and this becomes a problem because you intervene not just on that person, but also on the future generations. Yeah, okay. So uh, maybe from the society is more acceptable the first one, uh, what we study in uh, biomedical engineering is practically mm-hmm. what we we are inside the group one mm-hmm. in which yeah. we develop some prosthesis yeah i mean not 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 only that because people. if uh, you uh you study also the genetic part yeah. uh, because uh, there is also most that, of, that most branch. yes correct and, and uh, um But most of our studies yeah, were in our case, in, in our, in our case yes. were uh, strictly on that mm-hmm. topic. But obviously, the biomedical engineering and in specific, specifically the genetic engineering, has this problem of ethical, mm-hmm. ethical, mm-hmm. this ethical problem mm-hmm. that needs to fight against uh, the society and the research community, mm-hmm. the scientific community. And so, yes, so they leave an open, uh, with the article, they Mm -hmm. leave just an open uh, speech uh, about this problem. It was really, really interesting. Yeah, it's just just, uh, a topic that you can explore more, Mm -hmm. because uh, obviously there is some... uh, Yeah, I I really would like that uh, someone of uh, my friends... uh, Mm -hmm. Uh, reply to us uh, and tell us uh, some news. Uh, uh, yeah, would so be interesting. Yes, so this time, Ryan, please uh, tell us something interesting and not uh, like the same stuff that you sent me that I will not say. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yes, uh, this is this was really interesting. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's it. It's nothing special, but it's something that give you some thoughts. Mm-hmm. So. I hope that this video will give you some things to think about. Mm-hmm. And yes, let us know if you want to know more yeah. about it or if you anyway like this kind of articles in yeah. which we can discuss more instead of just uh, talking about yeah. technical stuff.
Yeah, because maybe it was too technical what I discussed. No, no, it was not too technical. Yeah, it yeah, was yeah. really interesting, uh, uh, the last video, okay. because uh, obviously I didn't know anything about mm -hmm. machine learning and was really, uh, really interesting to go into deep in this topic. Mm -hmm. uh, well, yeah, that's it. For, Thanks, the, for today, it's uh, everything. It's and everything, I was yeah. really... Uh, I really thank you, Ricardo, for this because I didn't know anything about this article until mm -hmm. uh, uh, before you starting, uh, and uh, it's uh, I really appreciate that, uh, and I hope that also our uh, our audience, will audience, appreciate our it. three <laughs> audience will appreciate three that. three people audience, three, yeah. two, one, my mom, my father, <laughs> my mom and my <laughs> father, <laughs> yes, or four. Yeah, probably. Uh, yes, and uh, yeah. yeah. See you next time. I will uh, search you. something uh, on those days. Leave a like, please. But like, uh, ring the <laughs> bell, subscribe, uh, uh, subscribe yes. and all, all that stuff. stuff. That doesn't matter, but yes, uh, doing uh, all these uh, stupid stuff. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Bye. -bye.